Everybody's down to 10 minutes or less. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT. God, I might the explosive one. <laughs> this is 10 minutes or less. Let's start the timer. It started. Dude, did you see uh, the Browns quarterback, Deshaun Watson, got his old penalty for being so uh, sexually promiscuous and assaultive? Six, six games, right? A big old sixer. Um, what do you, what do you and, do? and the NFL has a uh, has a uh, challenge that, so yeah. like it's yeah, it's like it's too much, or something. So, so in perspective, somebody was like, so Tom Brady messed with some air in the balls and he got four games. Deshaun yeah. Watson sexually assaulted thirty women, gets six. Allegedly. Ha- okay. See, that's the thing. That's the thing. Allegedly. Right. I'm gonna right. be I'm gonna be devil's advocate if that's even what you want to call me, but I have to say it's like if people say I did something, whether it be this, and yes, I believe that every instance of when this happened should be taken seriously. Right. But until it's proven, like it's your word against mine, why should anybody be punished when it's your word against mine? Mm-hmm. And and for some weird reason in this country, when you give people money out of court to not go to court, you're considered not guilty. Exactly. Oh, wait, like, no, no, no. Yeah, yeah because he settled, he settled all the lawsuits out of court except for one. There's only one that oh. looks for... Yeah, they said, I said all of them except for one. I think it's the original girl who came forward. Oh. Uh, have settled out of court. You know, same thing happened. Like Trump and that Stormy Daniels stuff settled out of court. You know, all that stuff, it gets settled out of court. Yeah. So then it just goes away. People don't forget. I mean, obviously, I feel like that's that's throwing a little bit of extra because this is this whole thing is going to be following him for the rest of his, his career. We're talking about it right now because allegedly he had he did these things but it's allegedly now he said it out of court but a lot of times people said it out of court because it's like what do you want me to go to court and and defend myself it's it's going to take longer it's going to end up costing more in the long oh, run oh no absolutely so i mean that's why out of court uh... and stop it you know you're lying we we already know but we'll just here take this and yeah. go away well that one wide receiver he bet 1500 bucks on nfl games he got suspended a whole year so you're saying gambling on the NFL is worse than assaulting 60 women or 30 yeah, women? Yeah, yeah. Take That's money. what they're saying. Yeah, you Ray know. Rice. Ray, Ray Rice got okay. caught on camera. And okay, got, no, yes. And he only got two games. He punched yeah. his girl in the face, knocked her the fuck out I saw on that. camera. I saw it. Two games. Remember, yeah, but he. Our, but that, that, that was also a wild Halloween, up. by the way. Just want to yeah. put that down in the air. <laughs> that, that also uh, that also Halloween. ruined his career because it, there was outrage about him only getting two games, and then they then the team ended up cutting him, and then no one else ever picked him up. Obviously, you punched your girl in the face on camera, like the guy yeah. in the Browns. He got in trouble for assaulting his girlfriend too. I don't think it was on camera. And like it's like I think like when the world can watch, like if the Sean Watson would have got called assaulting a woman on camera we would be having a very different conversation than it it, than should, just... it should be a different conversation because it's like i said it's one one person's word or 30 people's words and i understand that that sounds mm. bad <laughs> it sounds so bad but it's too great it's like still just because he liked to be promiscuous does not mean that he doesn't like to be promiscuous with people who may try to take advantage of the situation yeah, man, I, and right, who knows, right? Who and nobody knows? knows, only he knows. I mean, I feel like there was some inappropriate behavior going on, right? Like, because if you're, if you're going to a, a massage, okay, here's the thing. If you know you're going to a rub and tug massage and you ask for someone to touch your junk, you're not really out of the, out of, you're not really out of line because that's what they do there. But if he's going to a professional massage place and he's like, hey, here's my penis, that's still inappropriate. Like, it, because it's like, whipping out your penis in front of anyone yes. is, n- is not appropriate. <laughs> do not, don't do it. I, see, I highly suggest right. that you not do that. Yes. No, I it's agree. inappropriate, period. I agree. Like, the only person it's appropriate to is, like, your partner who is, like, consented to see your penis. We, and then there's being... still moments when it's a little <laughs> off. It's not really the right time or place, right? With that being said, let it be known that I do not know all the nuances of all of the uh, the allegations against this man. Right. All I know but, is that there were it, it was like 
Yeah, there are allegations that, like, he was getting massaged and he would, like, lift the towel and be like, hey, here's this down here, you know what I mean, and stuff like that. I don't know how deep it went past that, yeah. but even exposing yourself is illegal. Okay, so let me put it to you like this, my man. If you settle out of court, I just bought your consent. Congratulations. But, right? I mean, it's right? like... right. You're I basically said, saying, of. hey, look, I'm dropping the charges. We're all good here. He gave me enough money. Kind of, yeah. yeah. Okay. So, in, a weird, in a weird way, yeah. So in a way, we're saying is that if they didn't consent to it at the time, their consent was bought from them, or the situation wasn't bad enough where it was like even worth for them to pursue it out of a feeling of justice and liberty and powerful, powerful. Yeah. Well, it, it wasn't, it was, what was more important to them was what they got right right and it, and i guess that uh, that speaks a little bit too because if he full-on raped them yes i would i would feel like them him saying hey here's some money they're like no motherfucker no, you're going to yeah. jail like that but way. if he just whipped his penis out and they're like whoa dude that offended the f out of me yeah. you're being inappropriate yeah that's a little like yeah i guess that makes sense because and, i know and... damn well if i got raped i'd want that person to be in jail <laughs> like no, I no amount of money. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're absolutely like right. it's gonna be enough. I hope that doesn't like, happen no. to you, sir. Right, well, right, but but like no amount of money is gonna be like you know what? I guess that rape was you know, like, dude, no, that that is you're like that is some like go to jail. I want you in jail. I don't yeah. care what you have to say to me. But yeah, if you like, if a girl like showed her vagina to me and I was like, lady, come on, like yeah, and she's I'm like, taking you to court. Right, and then if she's like, I'll give you $20,000 to not take me to court. I just showed you my vagina. I'd be like, okay, I'll take right, I hated it, but I guess maybe that's not so <laughs> yeah. bad or whatever, yeah, right? Yeah. Like, yeah. you know, it's um, – because, like, did you see that – did you see that uh, story? There was some Instagram girl or something. She – there was these underage kids at a pool, and their, her, the kids' parents were there, and the kids' parents were letting them drink alcohol – so, like, there's a stack on stack. So then she, they said something. I don't know if it was the kids or the parents. Somebody said something about her flashing. She flashed her tits at the underage kids who were drinking alcohol with their parents. And, like, then she ends up getting arrested and is going to be charged as a sex offender and, like, all this other stuff. And, like. Absolutely should be. Right, right. She still showed her tits to underage kids, right? Like, that's yeah. the bottom. Like, it doesn't matter if your parents were there, if your parents were letting you drink alcohol. If the parents were drunk, it does none of that matter. She took it upon herself to say this is okay, and then now she—I think it's—I think she's actually facing felony charges because of it because uh, of yeah. like the state, like and uh, and like, like you just got to use the ancillary. If it were a guy, if the tables were turned, it was a guy doing the same thing, he's going to be crucified, you know? Oh yeah, and rightfully right, right. so. Right, absolutely. Well, it's the same thing about like when they, they say like away with ish for years, man. Well, well, and they say, like, uh, you know, you hear stories about, like, guys who are sexually assaulted by women, and they go to the cops, and the cops, like, make fun of them and don't want to take them seriously yeah, because well, they were assaulted, a woman, right, and it's, like, it's, it's, yeah, but, but the sec, you know, a man, right, does something to a woman, they're taken seriously immediately, saying, but so it's, like, the woman shows the tits, I even heard people on, you know, saying, like, oh, ha, 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 those kids didn't hate that, the kids probably didn't hate it, you're right. The kids but, probably are like, oh, boobies. It's the principle of the boobie, law. Yeah, the law is the <laughs> law, man. You can't be doing that. There was just another, uh, like, a 35-year-old teacher who got caught with a 16-year-old boy. And uh, It was a woman, and, a, and the kid was a six. The boy was a 16, Yeah, the right? boy was 16. She was a teacher, um, and she ended up getting pregnant. And yeah. it's like, oh, so you're, you know, having sex with one of your a minor student. That's, you know? Yeah. Yeah. And there well, and there's two there's two things at play there. Not only are they a minor, it's that it's that power position. It's like if you like try to date your therapist or date your boss or date something like yeah, that, it's like yeah. those people are in a position of power. So if they come on to you, it, it feels it feels different. So you know what I wanna know? What's for that? The, for the women who go to jail for pedophilia, which is what it is. It's, that's exactly what it is, yeah. Do they get treated the same way that a man that a man in prison would? Be oh, I wonder. For pedophilia, because I wonder. if you're a guy and and you go to prison for that, you are done. Like they're gonna beat your ass. You well, know, they even do that for if you're if you're uh, if you're sexually assaulting adult women that you yeah, get treated yeah, yeah, really, yeah. Really, like if if you're messing with if you're assaulting people or kids, jail will they will 
make it known yeah. that they are not fond of why you're there. So my mindset automatically goes to, I don't think that the women face the same persecution. Now, honestly, I don't know. I've never been to female right. prison. I've never been to men prison. Right. But it just, you know, it just kind of gives you perspective on the, the level of honor and valor that men have to maintain and that, you know, that we don't get the same treatment. And I'm not, it's not a misogynistic podcast. It's just an idea. Think about it. Marinate over that. Yeah. Yeah, man. It's, it's, well, I mean, you watch some of those jail shows with women inmates the, and the male inmates, like the, the way it's portrayed and the way they act, totally different. Oh, Just yeah, on that show, you know it's what I mean? It's a different dynamic. Like, 60 days yeah. in. Yeah, yeah, like 60 days in, like the women yeah. part of it and the man part of it, way different. So, Absolutely. anyways, that's all the time we have for this episode. Please go to thecrazytown.com and subscribe for Jonas. Do you take? Uh, yep. Yeah.